it's Pelero today from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make this echo spin transition in After Effects. Before this tutorial starts I just wanted to give you guys a discount code for my newest editing pack, the Color Glitch Pack. And if you guys are interested in this pack and this style, use the discount code PELLE. Let's get right into the tutorial here. So we're going to start off by importing our clip here. This is the clip I'm using for this tutorial here. And we're going to make a markers where we want to put our transition at. So here is one. Press the star key. And here is one. And after that, you're going to be making a adjustment layer by pressing Control alt y After that, you're going to make the adjustment layer 20 frames with... And I got 25 FPS for my composition. So basically go 10 frames to the right and then 10 frames to the left. Now we're going to be adding radial blur. And here I usually like to have a little bit higher quality. So I increase the anti-aliasing to high instead of low. And then you're going to keyframe the amount here. So you're going to start with zero. Then go to the middle at your transition point. Change the amount to 10. Go to the ending of your adjustment layer. And then set your amount back to zero. And we want to add this radial blur to get this kind of motion blur to our transition later. So open up the adjustment layer, radial blur, mark the keyframes, press F9, open the graph. And here the graph is going to be a sharp one. So we're going to drag these two in to the middle and these two down just like that. And the next effect we're going to be adding is called echo. And we're going to change the number of echoes to 5, the decay to 0.5. And we're going to change the echo operator to screen. After that, keyframe the echo time. Set the echo time to zero in the beginning. Go to the transition point. And here set it to minus one. And then go to the ending. And here set it to zero. After that, we're going to open up the echo effect in the adjustment layer. Mark the keyframes. Press F9. And then open up the graph. Here we're going to make a sharp graph as well. So we're going to drag this one in like this. So it's going to be pretty sharp. Now we're going to be adding the transform effect. And here we're going to start off by keyframing the scale. So we're going to click the clock here on the scale at the beginning. After that, go to the transition point, set the scale to 125. After that, go to the ending, set the scale to 100. Open up transform, scale, mark the keyframes, press F9, open up the graph editor, make the graph sharp like this, just like that. Then go back. The transition looks like this now. Looks very clean when we added this bump with the scale option here. And now for the final touch, I guess I could call it, we're going to keyframe the rotation now. And we're going to click the clock here on rotation on the scale effect. And after that, we're going to go to the middle, set the rotation to 180 degrees, just like that. And then go to the ending, set it to 360 degrees. One lap, should it say there. After that, open up the transform again, mark the keyframes, make this one sharp as well. This is how our transition looks like. But you guys of course see the black parts here. To get rid of that we're going to be adding an effect called motion tile. And you're going to drag this effect above the transform effect. You're going to press mirror edges. And then you're going to increase the output width and output height. I usually go for uh, a little bit more than uh, that's required. So uh, I just put it to 300 on both. And now you're just going to press the motion blur button. So this is how the transition looks. Very clean in my opinion. If you think this little flash thing here looks bad, you can mess around a little bit with the opacity option in the adjustment layer. So you can make it zero in the beginning, 100% in the middle, and then zero in the ending. F9, make this sharp like this. Then it's going to look a little bit smoother. And this is what you guys get. It's pretty, pretty clean in my opinion. Super good to use for your edits, music videos, or uh, whatever you want to use it for. And yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, like and subscribe and share the video. And if you guys want to step up and elevate your editing game even more, check out our website, editingvisual.com, with amazing editing packs that will really step up your editing game. Don't forget to check out our socials and join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and uh, have a nice day.